News tonight, police say a serial rapist is now under arrest and that he had been living under the radar for years. Tonight, we've learned the suspect is an employee at a prominent Boston bank. Yeah, police say the man raped two girls and two women with a knife held to their necks. These crimes happened in locations across the city dating back to 2003, 2003. WBZ's Courtney Cole explains how police say they connected him to these crimes. The ADA says it was a cigarette butt that ended up helping them make a link in both of the adult sexual assault cases. Detectives actually followed Mr. Ivan Chung to South Bay Mall. That was this past June. Saw him smoking a cigarette and processed it. It turned out that it was a DNA match to the two adult cases. The cases involving the 13-year-old and 14-year-old didn't have the DNA aspect, but detectives say that based on the pickup location, description, and the suspect's car, they were able to make a link to Mr. Chung. He did not appear in court today. Instead, Mr. Peter Parker, his attorney, appeared in his place. And I'd prefer not to have Mr. Chung's uh, image out there uh, for the uh, alleged victims to be viewing. Mr. Chung, an employee at State Street Bank in Boston, according to this statement from the global head of public relations for the bank, quote, the individual has been immediately suspended pending further investigation. Mr. Chung's attorney also did not want the details of the complaints read aloud in court. There are four criminal complaints before the court. He's got to be arraigned, right? Uh, yes, and I'd ask that the court enter pleas of not guilty. We obtained the complaints from the clerk's office today. Here's what we learned about the cases. The first case in 2003 involves a 13-year-old picked up in Chinatown. The second case in 2003 involves a 14-year-old picked up in the area of the Liberty Hotel. The third case in 2005 involves a woman picked up in the Boston Park Plaza area. And in the last case in 2006, a woman was picked up in the North End. Both teens were held at knife point and both of the adult women were stabbed before they were able to get away and get help. After the hearing concluded, Mr. Chung's attorney didn't have much to say and could be seen briskly walking away from the cameras. When asked why it took so long for an arrest to happen, the assistant district attorney said... Sometimes it just takes uh, time and some breaks for a case like this to come together. Mr. Chung is being held on a $1 million bail tonight. That's $250,000 for each charge. He's due back in court on September 22nd. Coming up on WBZ at 6, we'll tell you what the ADA said about the special unit with BPD looking into these cold cases involving sexual assault. In Boston, I'm Courtney Cole for WBZ News. All right, so State Street told us earlier that he had been suspended, but we just heard again from State Street, which now says it has terminated Chung's employment.